Now we are going to do some extra sum from some board paper and from R.D. Sharma. Okay. In CBSE 2008, this three question was asked. One one mark question. First, why I am giving this question to make you sure that paper is not that difficult. Don't worry if you are very much clear about the concept, the process, the method. You won't find any difficulty. You are asked to write the coefficient of the polynomial p z is very basic question. It's a polynomial of variable one variable z, and you are asked to write down the coefficient. If you don't understand the meaning of coefficient, here you find it difficult. Very basic question. Coefficient of z raised to five. is 1 coefficient of z square is minus 2 constant term is 4 ho gaya answer to coefficient r 1 minus 2 and 4 okay second sum was as write the zeros of again If meaning of zeros you are not clear, you are not in a position to attend this. No theory will be asked, but some based on theory will be asked. Write the zeros of this, and you know the method of zeros. How to find out zeros of any polynomial? Equate that polynomial with zero. Do factorization. Two factors are x minus three and x plus two. You are in tenth. You can write down this factor orally. Equate with zero. You will get x minus three zero implied x is three, or x plus two zero implied x is minus two. So my two zeros are three and minus two. Clear? And third sum was asked if x plus a is a factor of p x is equal to two x square plus two a x. Plus five x plus ten. Find a. So x plus a is a factor. So what is what are the corresponding zeros? P minus a is a zero of polynomial. So P minus a is zero. You put x is minus a in a, your expression P x. It is two a square minus two a square minus five a plus ten is zero. So it implies. My five is ten, and it gives you age two. So what is my value of a two? So these three question were asked of one one mark in two thousand eight. So you get the idea how the objective question uh, question uh, of what level they are asking. Now see, now I am solving few sums which are not given in textbook. They are different from textbook. It is based on totally on when in second term you are going to learn quadratic polynomial, quadratic equation. At that time you are going to learn such type of sum. But we have a quadratic polynomial in our uh, syllabus, and zeros of quadratic polynomial also in our syllabus. So in R D Sharma they have given few sums based on zeros of quadratic polynomial. And the relation, if alpha and beta are the zeros of P S, here variable is S. P S is three S square minus six S plus four. Find. Alpha by beta plus beta by alpha plus two times one by alpha plus one by beta plus three alpha beta. I am asked to find out the values of this expression. But alpha and beta are zeros of P S. So here A is three, B is minus six, 
and CH4. Coefficient I know. And alpha and beta are zeros, that is also given. So I can find out alpha plus beta and alpha into beta by using the knowledge of my coefficient relation of my zeros and coefficient are alpha plus beta is minus b by a and alpha into beta is c by a. So my alpha plus beta is coming 6 by 3, that is 2. And alpha into beta is coming 4 by 3. Now by making use of these values, you are asked to find out the, you are asked to find out the values of this expression. Now this expression can be simplified as alpha square plus beta square upon alpha beta. This is simplification of these two. Simplification of these two, it two in bracket alpha plus beta, I convert everything in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. And for this it is three time alpha beta. Clear? Okay? Now here alpha plus beta is known, alpha into beta is known. But alpha square plus beta square is not known. So side mein ja ke hum alpha square plus beta square ki value calculate karenge. Alpha square plus beta square you know, it can be expressed as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. So alpha square plus beta square was unknown. But alpha plus beta and alpha into beta are known values, put the value, 2 ka square 4 minus 2 into 4 by 3, so it is 4 minus 8 by 3 and answer is 4 by 3. Now all the values are ready with me, so you just put the value here 4 by 3, here 4 by 3, so cancel, answer is 1, clear, plus here 2 time 2 upon 4 by 3. So my 4 by 4 and this 4 cancel. So another simplification answer is 3. Plus 3 into 4 by 3. 4, 3, 3 gaya. So again answer is plus 4. So what is my answer? 8. Clear? This type of sum are not given in our textbook. So we did it. We are doing few more. Okay? Now see. Another same type of sum. Thoda change kiya hai. If alpha and beta are the zeros, I told you zeros of quadratic polynomial is same as roots of quadratic equation. Fx. In second term, similar type of sum you are going to do. Instead of polynomial, they have given quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation is in your second term, second semester. fx is x square minus 1. Find a. Find a quadratic equation. Find a quadratic equation. Or find a quadratic polynomial. Whose zeros are are 2 alpha by beta and 2 beta by alpha, ok? So you have learned, if I consider this as alpha dx and this as beta dx, then I can find out their sum as well as their product. If I want to construct a quadratic polynomial, with alpha dx and beta dx are their zeros, I must find out alpha dx plus beta dx and alpha dx into beta dx. Because I already discussed that theory, that if alpha dx and beta dx are zeros of polynomial, then equation of that quadratic polynomial is k time x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. Did you remember? This theory I have discuss, I discussed with you. x square minus of minus b by x plus c by a. So minus b by a, a is sum of zeros and c by a is product of zeros. Now I should find out this two. One, two and then I put it here. I will get a quadratic polynomial. But for that I have to take, I have to take help of original equation. In original equation 
एज वन बी जीरो एंड सी इज माइनस वन क्लियर सो अल्फा एंड बीटा आर दी जीरो ऑफ ओरिजिनल इक्वेशन ओरिजिनल पोलिनम सो अल्फा प्लस बीटा इज माइनस बी बाय सो जीरो एंड अल्फा इन टू बीटा इज सी बाय सो माइनस वन दीज टू वैल्यूज आर गिवन बाय मेकिंग ऑफ दीज टू वैल्यूज आई शुड फाइंड आउट दिस एंड दिस सो अल्फा डेक्स प्लस बीटा डेक्स इज टू अल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस टू बीटा बाय अल्फा टू अल्फा अपॉन बीटा प्लस टू बीटा अपॉन अल्फा सो इफ आई सिंप्लीफाइड इट इट टू टाइम क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइड अल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस बीटा स्क्वायर अपॉन अल्फा बीटा नाउ अल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस बीटा स्क्वायर कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन अल्फा प्लस बीटा एज अल्फा प्लस बीटा होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू अल्फा बीटा क्लियर एंड डिनोमिनेटर इज अल्फा बीटा पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस फ्रॉम योर ब्लैंक चेक टू टाइम इन ब्रैकेट जीरो प्लस टू अपॉन माइनस वन सो माई आंसर इज अल्फा डेक्स प्लस बीटा डेक्स इज माइनस फोर एंड माई अल्फा डेक्स इन टू बीटा डेक्स इज टू अल्फा बाय बीटा इन टू टू बीटा बाय अल्फा बीटा बीटा गो अवे अल्फा अल्फा गो अवे आंसर इज फोर सो माई अल्फा डेक्स प्लस बीटा डेक्स इज माइनस फोर एंड अल्फा डेक्स इन टू बीटा डेक्स इज फोर सो पुट इट इन दिस इक्वेशन यू विल गेट के टाइम एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर सो इफ आई टेक के इज वन देन माई पी एक्स विल बी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर बाय थ्री एक्स अरे फोर एक्स प्लस फोर क्लियर सपोज हियर इज फोर बाय थ्री देन आई 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 वुड हैव टेकन के इज थ्री सो थ्री थ्री कैंसर and i will get my quadratic polynomial with a integral coefficients matlab coefficients should not be in a fractional form okay now next sum if alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial fx is kx square plus 4x plus 4 such that extra help is given to you all some are in they are similar but they are differ also in some way or other so that alpha square plus beta square is 25 aise kaan pakadne ke badle aise pakadte hain find k ultimate the concept required for solving this sums are same here in this equation you are given a is k B is four and C is four. Okay, and alpha and beta are the zeros, so I can take alpha plus beta is minus b by a, so minus four by k, and alpha into beta is c by a, so four by k. Okay, I got the value of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta. Now you are given alpha square plus beta square is twenty four, but alpha square plus beta square can be expressed as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta that is also 24 put the value of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta in terms of k it is 16 by k square minus 2 into 4 by k is equal to 24 it's a quadratic equation in k what is my equation now k square is overall lcm so 16 Minus eight k is equal to twenty four k square. Let us solve this equation. Bring everything on one side. It is twenty four k square plus eight k minus sixteen is zero. Take out eight common overall. Three k square plus k minus two is zero. Do factorization. It is three k square. 
प्लस थ्री के हियर यू कैन परफॉर्म ओरल फैक्टराइजेशन ओके बिकॉज कोइफिशियंट ऑफ के इज थ्री इफ कोइफिशियंट ऑफ के इज वन डायरेक्ट फैक्टर्स वी कैन राइट सो माई टू फैक्टर्स आर थ्री के माइनस टू इन टू के प्लस वन इज जीरो सो माई के विल बी माइनस वन और के विल बी टू बाई थ्री क्लियर माई वैल्यू ऑफ के इज माइनस वन और के इज टू बाई थ्री दे आस्क यू टू फाइंड आउट के क्लियर एंड आई गॉट टू पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ के एंड नाउ दे लास्ट सम ऑफ टूडे इज क्लास इफ अल्फा एंड बीटा आर जीरोज ऑफ एफ एक्स इज टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस के वेर अल्फा सेम टाइप ऑफ सम अल्फा स्क्वेर प्लस बीटा स्क्वेर प्लस अल्फा बीटा इज गिवन एज ट्वेंटी वन बाय फोर फाइंड के only they have changed the expression baki same so i can write here a is 2 b is 5 c is k so alpha plus beta my knowledge given data is minus 5 by 2 and alpha into beta is k by 2 now you write alpha square plus beta square plus alpha beta as This is twenty-one by four, so it implies alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta plus alpha beta. I have written for alpha square plus beta square as alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha minus two alpha beta and alpha beta. So what is left? Alpha plus beta whole square minus alpha beta is twenty-one by four. So put the value twenty five by four minus k by two is twenty one by four. So if you simplify it, twenty five minus two k is twenty one. So my two k is four. So my k is two. Same type of sum, only data is little bit different. Clear? so that complete your today's lecture ha huh? if time permit we can do more sums barabar just now you try both the topics textbook as well as reference you keep your doubts ready then after some days we are going to do few more sums 